Is this the right spot for the camera to sit? Go, go see if I'm in the right spot. Hey YouTube, we're here again. It's week two of my keto mini series. If you didn't see last week's video, check the link below or somewhere on the screen over here, there should be a link to the video um, if I remember to do it. So pause, go watch that, get caught up. If you did watch last week's video, here are the results. So I was at 179 pounds and at the end of the week, I was 176.4 which is a loss of 2.6 pounds. Not amazing, but still pretty good. My boyfriend was at 214 and he went down to 211, which again is a pretty good loss, I think. So we're definitely seeing some early results, but from what I know about weight loss is the more and more weight you lose, the harder it becomes for a lot of reasons. And that's because your metabolic needs decrease as you lose weight. Your caloric expenditure decreases. Because you're losing weight, it takes less energy for your body to move, to function, to do things, right? So another thing that happens is that when you lose fat, those adipocyte cells that store the fat, they take less energy to maintain. Your body has to expend energy to keep those fat cells alive and keep them the same size. And so when you lose weight, your body doesn't have to expend as much energy to maintain those adipocyte cells at the same size anymore. So that again, decreases that deficit that you made by eating less calories. And then something that I don't know very much about is this thing called starvation mode, which from what I understand is your body becomes accustomed to or adapted to using fewer and fewer calories. So your metabolism slows down and your body gets really good at holding on to every single calorie that it possibly can. So those three things together, the fewer calories to move and do things, less calories to keep those adipocyte cells functioning and your body decreasing its own metabolism and going into that starvation mode thing, all of those added together makes your original calorie deficit that maybe you're eating 500 less calories a day. Now it's maybe 300 calories less a day because your body is burning fewer calories. So you're losing weight slower and slower. So it'll be interesting to see if we plateau this next week or the week after and we have to increase that caloric deficit. Something I wanted to clarify from last week's video that I think I kind of misspoke in last week's video is that when you're in ketosis, your body is not running on ketones, okay? Most of your body, most of your body uses fatty acids through oxidative respiration where fatty acid is broken down and through that process creates electron carriers like NADH and FADH2. And those electron carriers then continue on to eventually produce ATP, which powers your cells. Ketosis though is only happening in bioenergetically demanding tissues like your brain, your heart, your skeletal muscles, because those tissues can't rely on oxidative respiration of fatty acids. It's just too slow. And if your heart is relying on that slow energy pathway, when you stand up to go do something and your heart rate jumps, your heart suddenly runs out of energy because your body can't produce it fast enough and you collapse to the floor. Your heart can't maintain that blood pressure. That change in energy demand is too fast for fatty acid oxidation to keep up. So your body has to use ketones, a carb, which is a much faster energy pathway to supply that energy demand difference. So a quick recap, the body uses mostly fatty acids when you're in ketosis and only specific tissues use ketones when you're in ketosis, like the heart, the brain, skeletal muscles. Your whole body is not running on ketones while you're in ketosis. Quick disclaimer, just like last week, I'm not a nutritionist or a registered dietitian. I'm not a physician. Um, this information is, this information is not dietary or medical advice, and you should speak with your primary care provider or a registered nutritionist or a dietitian before making any major changes or changes at all 
to your diet or starting a completely new diet. Again, this is not advice. This is just my experience of doing ketosis. For this week, we're going to be eating about 2,400 calories, which is a little bit less than last week. We'll have about 200 grams of protein with about 146 grams of fat and I think, yeah, 42 grams of carbs, which is one less than last week. Yay us. Some of the foods have stayed the same and some have changed. Breakfast is still the same. It's the three eggs, three sausage patties, the keto tortilla, and a protein shake with unsweetened soy milk. However, for lunch, we're going to be having swimming rama and spaghetti zero noodles with some roasted zucchini. And for dinner, there'll be an egg roll in a bowl, which is basically just the filling of an egg roll made, but not put into the delicious crispy outside that I really want to eat right now. Our snacks will no longer be one fair life protein shake because they've recently had some animal cruelty um, accusations and I want to see how those sort out before I continue supporting them. Um, so instead we'll be having a Body Fortress 40 gram protein shake and again one Lemon Atkins protein bar. And we've removed that lettuce wrap just to help further increase our calorie deficit and keep those carbs low. We'll see if this deficit of calories is sustainable and bearable or if we're gonna have to go back up in the middle of the week or next week. I also wanted to give um, a little bit of feedback on the keto products we've tried over the last week. This is not sponsored content, but if a brand did wanna sponsor me, uh, I would not be opposed. Firstly, tortillas. We've tried three brands of tortillas. The first one is Tomorrow's Tortillas, these guys absolutely terrible disgusting i would never buy again zero out of five stars they're they're grainy they taste weird they cook up weird there's an aftertaste they're gummy but not in a good way they're just they're just terrible they look like they would be really good they look very much like an uncooked flour tortilla that would be amazing no disgusting do not get tomorrow's carb wise tortillas after that one is La Bandarida. These are my favorite. I, I only like them slightly more than the next ones I'm gonna tell you because I think they have a slightly chewier and less whole grainy flavor and texture than the Ole Extreme tortillas, which are my next favorite. I will say though that when I've made burritos ahead of time and stored them in the fridge overnight, the Ole Extreme tortillas held up much better in the fridge. So if you're making these things ahead of time, like I have, I would suggest going for the Ole Extreme. But if you're making them day of, then La Bandarira is the, the clear winner. It's so much better, love it. Do not get tomorrow's, get one of the other two. Next is milks. So we've been using this silk unsweetened soy milk. When I looked up what kinds of milk can I drink while doing keto, unsweetened almond milk was the one that came up most frequently. I just wanted to point out that this unsweetened soy milk has four grams of fat, seven grams of protein, and one net carb. Almond milk has the same amount of carbs, same net carbs, but has less fat and less protein. And when I read the USDA comparison of the two milks, soy milk was actually higher in every vitamin and mineral, except for vitamin D and sodium. So it just doesn't make sense for us to switch to almond milk. Um, I would argue that the soy milk is a more nutrient dense food and that you should use that one over almond milk, but obviously it's personal preference and they have the same number of carbs. So it really just comes down to what you want out of your food. That's just my opinion. And I wanted to throw out a little bit of nutrition there that soy milk is a more nutrient dense food. Next was those keto buns from last week's video. You know, it was great the first night when I made that video that I, I got the little clip from. The terrible the other nights, they were just too small. So my second batch, I ended up making them just into one regular sized bottom bun so that I could have like an open face burger, you know, the keto bun on the bottom, the patty, pickles, etc., and then a lettuce leaf on top. That worked way better than trying to make a bottom and top bun out of that keto recipe. So I would recommend finding a different keto hamburger bun recipe or just finding them at a store pre-made. 
Lastly, I wanted to talk about xanthan gum and cornstarch. Um, most keto recipes that I see recommend using xanthan gum for the thickening agent and sauces and soups and other things. Both xanthan gum and cornstarch are 30 calories per one tablespoon, and they also both have seven carbs. The only difference I was seeing between them is that xanthan gum is, you know, $15, $16 a bag, whereas cornstarch is 2 to $3 a bag. I was really tempted to just use cornstarch, but something that I learned is that xanthan gum is actually soluble fiber, so it's not listed in the dietary fiber, but it is a type of fiber that your body does not absorb so it doesn't contribute to your carb count i know it's way more expensive to get xanthan gum but if you need a keto thickening agent for soup sauces whatever you got to use this because it's zero net carbs that's my feedback on some products um hopefully i'll have some more keto feedback next week and if i can get my boyfriend to cooperate i'll insert a clip right now of him giving his personal feedback on how keto went for the first week and if not you'll just cut to a clip of all right so i got him he's gonna give us some some keto feedback what do you think of the your first week on keto i miss having oreos <laughs> you have any um other feedback about your first week and experience on the diet no it was hard for a big guy like me to commit to keto but it's possible there you have it you didn't that's about it for today don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss next week's video I'll see you again on Sunday for an update on how week two went, our weight changes, as well as week three's meals, macros, and plan. Like last week, the recipes will be linked below or written down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Low buns? I don't even know if this is still recording. For all I know, it says low battery, and it's stopped. Ow. Apparently I have the camera in the right spot. There you have it. You didn't ask, you didn't tell me you were gonna ask me that. Or it's saying memory full. It's all right, this is practice if it is. Question. I did. No, you didn't, you just asked. That's good. I think that's it.